One of the district's busiest and most profitable speed cameras was recently removed. Yeah, it was located along southbound 295 at the Benning Road overpass. And while a lot of drivers are happy to see it gone, some are wondering why it suddenly disappeared. Well, today Mike Kinneen went looking for answers. Drivers on southbound 295 are surprised to find the speed camera, once tucked behind this bridge abutment at Benning Road, is now gone. According to DC DMV data obtained by AAA Mid-Atlantic, that camera issued more than 2,900 tickets in December 2012, generating nearly $331,000 in revenue. Then, one month after the district increased the speed limit here to 50 miles per hour, the citations and revenue plummeted. When the 11th Street Bridge project started tying up 295 traffic this spring, the numbers dropped even lower, just 866 citations and $82,000 in revenue in June. It, you know, it's remarkable because this is about traffic safety. So the question is, why are cameras placed there in the first place? Now that the cameras disappeared, some drivers are questioning if this program is really about safety. In certain areas, it's all right, but a lot of times they just use it to, to, just to make revenue. I think they should, should move the cameras, shouldn't even have any cameras at all. But MPD officials point to statistics showing a significant drop in the number of auto fatalities in D.C. ever since the introduction of automated traffic enforcement back in 2001. Even some drivers say if speeding is less of a problem on 295, maybe the cameras should be moved. I mean, it could be better than another road. MPD claims the camera's removal is only temporary. Quote, we removed the units north and southbound at Benning Road in order to replace them with newer equipment that has better images. Those units will be back in place within a few days at most. In fact, just up the road, police recently installed this camera located right behind a Welcome to Washington, D.C. sign. What a greeting and what a rude awakening. In Northeast, Mike Kinneen, ABC7 News.